Britain's investment, Richard, is not uh, tax rates purely. I mean, tax rates do improve the discounted present value of a, a project, it's true. What, what business is looking for is certainty, and we have extreme uncertainty, as you heard from your other guests, Martin Wolf and Charlie Bean. It, it really, what the government has done or what the Chancellor has done with this um, fiscal event, it wasn't called a mini-budget, whatever they called it, is create greater uncertainty, and that discourages investment, doesn't bed it down. Now, I have to preface it by saying that I welcome you know, the Chancellor said we have to move forward. I, I wouldn't want him to move backwards, but uh, the, the plan for growth... The idea of a plan yeah. for growth is absolutely critical. Implementation is the key. So, and we haven't, we've had very poor implementation so far. So the unfunded tax, tax cuts, cuts yes. is that what worries you? Well, there's no plan, right? There's no detail. Oh, you'll plan. get it in November. I mean, we, we, we've shafted, or well, the government shafted the B of E during the campaign. Uh, they shafted the Treasury. They've shafted the OBR. I mean, every institution that has been laying the ground. The Prime Minister on the weekend said the, the, she admitted that they hadn't laid the ground properly. Well, th those institutions have been laying the ground for other fiscal manoeuvres and monetary policy manoeuvres for years, and yet they were totally ignored. So it was quite bizarre the way that it was implemented. The idea of having a plan is something that business would welcome. We're now having to wait until November the 23rd, we're told, until the, the, the Chancellor and the Treasury have got their act together with the OBR to find out what the plan actually is. Uh, the, the pound sort of is at 113 now, but it's... Still, the, still below where it was when, uh, when... Does that affect your decision-making? I mean, when you look at... You're, 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 you're sort well, of... Well, we're a global business. Right, but do, does that... Be, exactly, you're a global business, so do you think... You're but, never going to abandon Britain, but do you no, think about it shifting away? it alters the relative attractiveness of North and South America, which I think is still remains very attractive, despite some of the bumpiness there. The Middle East, because of energy prices, maybe perhaps parts of of Africa, and then Asia-Pacific, maybe China, big question about US-China relationships and what happens to our clients, given their already extreme exposure, but basically India, Indonesia, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, EMEA, as we call it, forget about the MIA, the, the EBIT, the Europe bit, difficult. France, Germany, Italy, Spain and the UK, all difficult. And the relative attractiveness of the UK has been damaged by what's happened in the last few weeks. Now, you're a modern man who... <laughs> Old modern man. Well, <laughs> yeah. none of us are getting any younger. Um, would you have retweeted Martin Wolf's they're mad, bad, dangerous, they've got to go. Well, Martin was very extreme. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I would admit to being in the Rishi camp when I listened to Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak debate. I'm not a member of the Conservative Party, but I listened to, to about three or four debates. I thought Rishi was absolutely crystal clear on the need to get the plan in place, uh, as Liz Truss went, but to do it with fiscal responsibility and to lay out a detailed plan to balance the books before we went off on the, the growth plan. So, finally, do you think, as a business leader, they, i.e. the current... Prime Minister and Chancellor, can regain credibility from this. It's a hard job. This is like a CEO and a CFO going to shareholders, saying, my revenues are down, my costs are up, and I have no detailed plan. Even the Chancellor's speech today at conference, it sounded good, it made the right noises, but where's the beef? Where's the detail? So we have to wait until... No I don't think we will have to wait till November the 23rd. I think it'll have to come earlier. I'm old enough to remember where, where the beef comes from as well. <laughs> Good to see you, Martin. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed. So Martin Sorrell, founder and executive.